This episode of CleaningBiz.tv is made possible by Newsbreak Newsletter, the number one marketing tool you can use to build relationships. Your clients and prospects will love it. Coming up on today's show, how do I land my first big cleaning account? I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. <laughs> recently had a member post a question in our discussion forum. Here's what he said. Okay, I'm new, but I've heard wonderful stories about the big accounts. That's what I want. Anyone have any advice on landing my first big account? What do I need to know and where can I find them? What a great question. If only we could all start out by landing those big accounts. You know, every once in a while we hear of someone landing a, an account, a big account, pretty quickly after they started their commercial cleaning business. Now whether or not they were able to handle that big account is another story and why I wanted to talk about it in this episode. First of all, in most cases, it's going to take time to land the big accounts. The building owners and managers that hire cleaning contractors for these accounts want companies with a proven track record. In other words, they want to know that you already clean buildings of similar size. In fact, you may not even be able to be allowed to submit a proposal without having experience with the larger buildings. So I know what you're thinking. Well, how the heck do I get experience if, if they all want me to have experience already? Well, the way to do it is to work your way up. If you're already cleaning buildings of about 5,000 square feet, well then start setting your sights on 10,000 square foot buildings. Once you have a couple of those under your belt, well then go for the 15 and 20,000 square foot buildings and you keep going up from there. Once you get up to the 40 or 50,000 square foot range, it's a lot easier to go for the even bigger buildings of 75 to 100,000 square feet. In our business, we got to the point where we had several buildings that were in that 20, 15 to 20,000 square foot range, but we had yet to land a larger size building or an account with several large buildings. The way we were able to do it was by building a solid relationship with our janitorial distributor. Now let me explain. Steve was there every week ordering supplies, talking about new equipment, chewing the fat with the guys and really getting to know them over a period of years. And while he was doing that, they learned more about the type of business owner he was. They knew that the business was growing, they knew that many of our customers had um, they knew many of our customers and had always heard good things about our service and they knew we always paid our bills early, which was important to them. Now because they knew us so well, they occasionally gave us tips on buildings they knew were looking for a new contractor. Well, we finally got our opportunity at a complex of five buildings that ranged from about 30,000 to 50,000 square feet each because of this relationship we had built. Now, just a side note, do not take this advice to mean that you should start asking your distributor for leads. They're going to see right through you. What I'm trying to get across is the fact that it takes time to build relationships that can lead to great referrals, not only with your distributor, but in your community join the chamber, get to know other members, consider joining BOMA, and so on. Set your sights on the larger accounts by building solid relationships and creating a history of taking care of business so that you have several clients that will rave about your service. Because these larger accounts will call your current clients to find out if you do take care of business. Okay, so I also wanted to talk more about what you need to know when you do land a large building. You don't want to take them on too soon or you could put your company into financial hardship. And there's many reasons for that. When we got those five buildings, we had to hire about 15 people all at one time, which is a lot of payroll that we had to suddenly pay. Plus, we had to buy equipment for all those buildings. Now, we were in a good cash flow position at the time. Plus, we had secured a line of credit before landing this account, so we were able to seamlessly add the extra expenses. Not everyone is in that position, so you need to plan ahead and position yourself so that if the opportunity presents itself, you're already financially stable. I've seen people with the opportunity to land a big new shiny account, but quickly found out that they bid off way more than they could chew. And it's not only the startup expenses to consider. 
How are you going to manage an account of this size? Do you have trained supervisors? Who's going to fill in when people call in sick or don't show up? You can no longer fill this void yourself, so you have to have a plan in place for management of the large accounts. And one more thing, when you get into the larger accounts, you'll also be facing lower profit margins. So if you make a mistake in your estimate, it could cost you thousands of dollars. Now I don't mean to scare anyone off, because there are a lot of upsides to large accounts. For one, they're actually a lot easier to manage than a dozen small accounts scattered all over. I just want to paint a realistic picture of what it takes to get the larger accounts. If you plan your growth, create a solid financial foundation for your business, and build solid relationships with both your clients and in your community, there's no reason you can't work your way up to the large accounts. And nothing beats the feeling of landing that first big account. Well, that's it for today's show. I'd like to hear your story about how you landed your first big account. And if you haven't landed it yet, well then tell us what your plan is to get there. All you have to do is post your comments below the video at cleaningbiz.tv. I'm Jean Hansen and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.